Hey guys, this is H-Town Kid 713 coming back with a review of the Easter collection for 2015. And we're looking at here, one of my uh, collections in the Easter is the KD5 Easter. Right behind that is the LeBron 11 Low Easter that came out last year. And the shoe I am adding to the collection this year is right here, the Kyrie One Easter Edition. This is my first look and feel of the Kyrie One in the collection. So glad to have a pair and have the competent retail. Let's take a quick look at the box. This is my first box looking at the Kyrie One. Looking at the top, we got the logo on the top. The box came in good condition. Because we've got some herringbone traction on the, uh, you know, the top of the box. His name, Kyrie One, on the, on the side there. Work our way around. We've got his autograph in the back. And let's do a quick tail to tape. So I did go true to size on this shoe. Official colorway of the shoe is medium berry, metallic silver, hot lava, black. Official retail price of the shoe is coming in at that nice $110. And I believe that's a, that's a price point I think a lot of fans are liking um, with this shoe. And you know, I don't, I don't expect too much for a shoe that comes in at 110 in terms of the Nike, but a definitely great entry price for Kyrie, Kyrie Irving on his first kind of signature shoe. And he's having a great season. Couple 50 point games this year, really breaking out, having some monstrous games. Well, if we take a look at the shoe, of course, let's look at the side panel here in terms of this is probably its most notable and distinct design feature. This kind of kind of like almost like a Jaws zigzag, but it is um, kind of um, paying homage to the Sydney Opera House, the very popular, iconic uh, Sydney Opera House in, in uh, Australia, kind of based off that design. They call this kind of a three fuse layer type of technology or design up here in the front. As you see that kind of mesh there, it's not really mesh in terms of like it's breathable through it, more just aesthetics on that point. Kind of fused up here in the front portion of the shoe. Now let's look at the bottom sole of the shoe. We've got this nice kind of almost like a mintish green type color there. Some herringbone and there is if we look here a Nike zoom in the forefront portion of the shoe I don't know if I really feel it yet on this particular shoe like the KD7 this kind of the Nike zoom um, The traction is a little reminiscent to me a little bit of the kind of what's on the uh, CP36 kind of a couple older model about two three years ago a little similar to that We'll put uh, CP I kind of some flux screws in there. So that's kind of my initial comparison is what it kind of uh, reminds me of of course, in the middle here, he's got some design key features uh, Kyrie wanted to point out. You know, Elizabeth, which is his mother who passed away when he was very young. Um, that's her birthday, 8 13 67, and her death, 9 8 96. And below that, uh, there are some letters there. This kind of clear, see through that um, behind it. JBY, I believe, stands for Just Be You. And going in the back, I'm not sure what this is. Either you kind of see like an X with a line there. I'm not sure if that signifies anything. If it does, let me know. But we go through the kind of the side here, come up through the tongue, actually, let's start there. Just kind of some standard black shoelaces, some mesh on the tongue. And we got there on the top his kind of a logo there. And on the back of the tongue is autograph. And come around the side there, let's take a look. It's kind of that silver swoosh. Of course, another second distinct feature is the kind of the heel kind of in the back. It's got that rigid design there for a heel support. Very distinctive feature. And there's the midsole. Maybe they're going with a pylon midsole on this one. Work our way around. Oh yeah, there's the number two, his number there in the back. And I'm looking to possibly how the uh, see how these work out. Possibly get a Nike ID of this. I'll see how this one plays out and see if I'll move forward with one of the design concepts I have. Metallic, uh, there's the silver swoosh. And the Mac and coming up through the front portion of the shoe. So that's about it. Um, actually, in terms of color, which is probably one of the most important things, let me, you know, one thing also I'm gonna bring out, also maybe a color comparison here. I'm gonna bring out the KD7 Lightning and take a quick, kind of quick look between the two. Just give you guys a comparison of the shades of kind of this purplish type of color. Of course, I found that blueberry, but just want to kind of give you guys some comparison there. So that's it right there. And I'm gonna do an on feet and kind of fit and feel review as well, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, guys, um, I've actually, of all the Easter ones, I saw the all in person today, here uh, April 2nd, here in the United States, which is a Thursday. Um, I like the LeBron a lot, uh, but for that price, you know, I'm gonna wait to see if that goes on sale. The Kobe, um, one of my favorite models this year, the Kobe 10. Um, I'm gonna definitely pick up some other pairs of Kobe's, but really wasn't feeling this model that came out this year. 
uh, and the KD7. Of course, that was a very, uh, very uh, bright one. Of course, if you've seen that kind of that lime green color, but uh, decided to add something a little new, a little different, and just thought it was a great opportunity. And that, guys. Thanks for watching, that guys, and uh, stay tuned for the on feet. And you guys have a great day. Hey guys, this is kind of my first kind of walkthrough in the Kyrie One. Kind of just wanted to give you kind of a feel for the shoe. Overall, I would say nothing bad, but nothing great at the same time. The only thing you may want to think about loosening the laces up in the front. Could be a little tight there, but other than that, uh, a pretty good fit, pretty good feel. Um, I went through the size on this. There is a little room there on the front with a with your toes if you wanted to go half a down size, but for me, I, I would keep it true to size. So that's just a quick, uh, quick uh, kind of overview there of the fit and feel of the Kyrie one.